Hello everyone, the title of the project is Radian Design and Simulation for UMTS using MATLAB. Over here, a static radio network simulator for studying various topics of third generation WCDMA radio network planning is present. The simulator allows analyzing coverage, capacity, and quality of service visibility issues. Input to the simulator is the network scenario and the user information as a mobile station plan. Uplink and downlink are separately analyzed and the outputs are presented in the form of maps of this server. Number of users, served traffic, soft handover areas, soft handover statistics for area and for the user and etc. are calculated. Now, the working of the GUI tool is as follows. First, the number of RNGs. It shows us the total number of radio network controls are required to fulfill the requirement of capacity. This shows us the total number of RNGs required, which is 2.31. So we will round this up and use three radio network controller for the given area. Now initialization parameters. These parameters are as follows. Height of node B, which is the height of the station from town, height of mobile station, uplink frequency, downlink frequency, and etc. When we enter the parameters in these boxes and click on save, those parameters will be retrieved and be written in the Excel spreadsheet as shown here. Now, the path loss models. There are various types of path loss models used for data and planning, out of which we have implemented three. One is modified Okumura Hata, the other one is Okumura Hata, and the other one is Oilfish Ikigami. The Oilfish Ikigami model is used for rural areas, while the Okumura Hata is used for urban areas. And modified Okumura Hata model is used for urban areas with dense population. The working is as follows. Now, if we click on Okumura Hata, it will show us a graph of loss versus distance. We can see over here, as the distance increases, the loss also increases. Differently. Now, calculating the overall network parameters. When we click on calculate, all the network parameters which were entered in the Excel file will be retired by MATLAB and different equations will be calculated and the representations are formed. Now, over here, the user number shows us total number of users, served users, and unserved users. This is the entire geographical contour in which we are randomly distributing all the users. Now, when we click on served users, then out of the total users, those users which are served are shown. And I'm clicking on unserved users. It will show us the unserved users. As much as good is the planning for radio network, that much will be lesser the number of unserved users. Now we are going for the path loss. This is uplink path loss. We are using three base station scenario, so we are entering any well number of distance. This shows the path loss. As we move away from the base station, the path loss increases. And clicking on all, it will show us combined path loss for all the three base stations. Now, the PCDICS strength 
which shows the primary common pilot channel strength. Now, D and SHO shows the dominance and soft handover region. Dominance region is the region which shows the entire coverage of the base station, while the soft handover region is the region in which the power of two base stations overlap each other. Here, the green region shows the soft handover region, and the blue one is the dominance region. Now, the other two ones are interference. They are as follows. The first one shows for the first base station, second one shows for the second base station, and third one shows the other two own cell interference only for the third base station. Now, soft handover overhead. Similarly, soft handover probability. The soft handover probability shows us the total percentage of mobile stations connected to a single base station. The percentage of mobile stations connected to the two base station and the percentage of mobile stations connected to three base station. Now the function MS trace it is used to show the mobility and the handoffs performed when a user is moving from the coverage area of one mobile station to another. First of all, we trace the path of the mobile user. And then on pressing enter, it will show us that when the user is in the coverage area of base station 1, the best serving base station is 1. And then he moves into the coverage area of third base station. At that time, the best serving base station for that mobile user is third base station. This can also be used for surveillance. It is a demo model for surveillance. Now, downlink connections, it shows us the total downlink connections with the entered base station number. Suppose we enter base station number 1, then it will show us the total number of mobile stations which are connected to that particular base station number 1. We can also enter the base station numbers in an array to see the downlink connections of multiple base stations. The green dot shows the mobile users which their given serial numbers. Now over here we enter the mobile station number whose relative connection to their best serving base stations we want to see. Now on clicking the downlink mobile station connection, it will show us the mobile station numbers which we have entered and their connection to their base serving these stations. Now let us move towards the final part of our project optimization. In this, we are entering the number of base station whose position we need to optimize. We are considering soft handover loading as our optimization constraint. If the loading at particular position for the specified base station is reduced in that position is considered as its optimized position. The selection of the position is done on the basis of path which we trace. And now the optimized position are retrieved from the MATLAB and they are written into the excel shape with its optimized new longitude and latitudes. These are the old position location for the base station number one. And these are its own longitude and latitude. Now when we do the optimization, the uplink and downlink loading for the base station one are reduced and its new position and the longitude and latitude are retracted. 
Thank you very much.